Good to see you guys. Um, thanks for coming to great environment today. I mean, you know, really good college basketball game too. And tip of the, you know, Purdue's really good, obviously, and ranked all year. They have the College Player of the Year. Um, but you know, first I want to thank you know Eddie Jordan and Mike Dabney, Hollis Copeland, James Bailey, all for coming back and um, you know to see their numbers up there is really impressive. And I, I'm really appreciative that. Um, we were able to honor them the right way. Great guys. I'm thankful too that we honored our football team for the pinstripe bowl. That was great. But you know, our team, our cheerleaders, band. We played hard. Um, the fans were awesome. Um, again, I thought we had our chances in the game. It's a tough team to prepare for. It's a tough team to play. Not many people have a seven foot five guy that catches everything, makes free throws, and does what he does. But um, you know, I was pleased with our effort and. We got to just continue to get better. You know, it was a tough stretch these first, you know, games of the season. Probably the toughest stretch of anybody in the league, playing the teams that we had to play. And um, now we just got to continue to get better and hoping, hoping to add a few more pieces soon, too. Gary, uh, what was the difference in the first half when you fell into the 13-point hole? Yeah, it, you know, I, I really talked a lot to our guy. You know, our turnovers. You know, we had some careless turnovers, which gave them easy points. Um, you know, I like some of the looks we got, but we turned the ball over. I think it was seven times in the first half, and I think we limited it in the second half. What, what did we end the game with? Ten, so two or three in the second half. Huge difference, you know, in the game. And, and when you're turning the ball over, you can't change up defenses. You can't do any of the things that you really want to do on the other end of the floor, too, because you're just retreating. Um, but, but I really felt that, you know, our turnovers in the first half, and, and I didn't feel like it was them. I thought it was us. Thought that was a huge difference, and we settled down. The second half didn't have many, and uh, you know that was a big, big key for us. Chris, coach, uh, felt like the shot making was uh, much improved from the start of the second half. What do you attribute the offensive improvement in terms of making shots and getting those looks in the second uh, half? Yeah, to? I mean, again, you got to give them credit. They're a really good team, and they have a, a, a an elite rim protector. Um, I thought we did get some good shots early. You know, we missed some layups. You got to you got to make shots in, in a game like this, especially early on. Um, second half, I just think a we didn't turn the ball over as much, had more opportunities. B, you know, guys started settling in, you know, and and, and making some making some plays. Um, but I just thought we kind of relaxed a little bit in the second half, and we let the offense come to us, and 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 we rebounded. We out rebounded, the, you know, one of the best rebound teams in the country. That helps you too, getting second opportunities. Brian, you guys cut it to two points, two or three times in the second half. Just what was missing to get over that hump? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a great, we 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 were right there. It's a four point game. It's a two point game. You know, um, timely timely makes. Um, I did think we, you know, executed and got some good looks, and you know, just just couldn't kind of. You know, get over over the hill, and then they came down the other end. Like I always say, there's two parts of it. Like we can stop them too, but they, they got timely baskets and ones, a couple fouls on Zach Eady. You know, so not only did we not finish the deal, then we go back down the other end and give them more opportunities to kind of space it out a little bit. But uh, you know, just close. We're close, and that's the best team in the conference, one of the best teams in the country. But you know, not not good. We got to play great for 40 in that game, and I thought we had spurts, but you got to. And kind of defensively and offensively play better. Eddie in the middle. Coach, Gavin and Jamichael were instrumental down the stretch helping bring you guys back. What have you seen in the growth from those two freshmen this year? I, I will tell you, I mean, they're both young, and, and I'm proud of Gavin. I said this to these guys afterwards. You know, it hasn't been as easy. Um, he, he had a great week of practice. I mean, and the guys will tell you that, too. He had a fantastic week of practice. He really focused, and it showed today in, in the game. Um, J. Mike is a great energy guy. Like he, he, he every day brings it, you know, on that end of the floor. And I think, you know, both of them are just developing. It's hard, you know, it's hard. College basketball is hard, and you know, you got to kind of go through some obstacles. But real proud of how they've been practicing, and I think that's, um, you, you know, goes to show that they improve on the court when they have good practices. Craig and then Ellis. Speaking of Gavin Griffiths, he seemed to be more active on the offensive side of the ball today. Was that kind of a point of emphasis now going forward? He's he's been very active in practice, so he's getting rebounds. He's you know I think you just go through these stretches sometimes. You know, freshmen, you, you know it's 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 not easy. Practices are long, they're hard. Teams scout you, you know that kind of thing. But he's doing more in practice, and therefore you saw him do more, you know today. So. Ellis, Brian, and then Jay. Against, against Illinois, I believe you guys were down 14 in the rebounding category. Again, today, and Purdue, you guys were up 
four and then also nine more offense rebounds. What went into improvement on the re- on the boards? I mean, it's always you know who you're playing to. You know, um, you know a lot of things factor into rebounds. You know, if you're making shots, then you don't have many oppor- as many opportunities to rebound. If you're not making shots, you got more opportunities to rebound. Um, we knew that's been a key when we've played well. You know, rebounds been a huge part of it. We had a huge problem the first ten games, and we kind of have gotten to a place where. You know, we team rebound better. Our guards stick their noses in there, and that's been, you know, that's been a huge emphasis for us. And and, and the fact that these guys have done it, you know, you still got to go out there and do it against a really good rebounding team in, in Purdue. Right here, yeah. Brian. Steve. Matt Painter went out of his way to have some high praise for Cliff. Said he loves Cliff. He's come a long way. I know it's tough when you're going up against Edie. Could you talk about that matchup and you know yeah. how they just battled for 40 minutes? Mm. Well, I tell you what, you, you know, people don't realize like Cliff has come a, a long, long way. His freshman year, he led the league in fouls per minutes, and now he's one of the best defenders in the country. So, like, to flip the script and in three years, and you know, now to be a presence on that end of the floor, I think he's one of the elite defenders in the country. Obviously, second or third in block shots and in our league, um, but you know, Cliff works at it and. Uh, you know, I'm proud of them, but it's a tough matchup today. I mean, you know, you know, and you're always playing against the whistle too, because you know, we need them in the game, and then you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta foul, you know, uh, to stop a player like that who gets such low post position, and you know, he catches everything, you know, and so these are tough games because you're playing against the whistle and you're playing against the best player in the country. Yeah. Here and then Jerry will wrap it up. Coach, um, the three point the three point shooting tonight struggled a bit. Uh, therefore, it forced you guys to be crafty. You know, some tough middies, some tough interior points. Mm-hmm. What can you speak to just the overall resilience of the offense and just yeah. how proud are you of them tonight making it happen? Yeah, I mean, I, I was you know we got 40 points in the second half. We just sometimes you just have to figure out a way. But they they give you you know when you have a seven foot five guy you know protecting the paint, you're probably not getting to the paint a lot. And we we got in there a few times and. We finish sometimes, which which hurt us. You got to almost finish whenever you get there, and he's not at the rim protecting it. You got to make those, um, but you also got to make some mid-range stuff too, and you need some threes too, because that's kind of what they allow you, you know, to to do. But you know, I thought we were played with a better rhythm in the second half, with or off. A lot of guys got touches, and you know, um, obviously it helps when you got some points coming off the bench too. It really, really helps you. Last one, Jared. Just to follow up about your freshman, Steve. What do you hope that J. Mike and Gavin? can gain going forward from, from playing 42 minutes and more or less holding their own against a team like this, an environment like this? Well, I mean, hopefully, you know, it gives us all confidence. Like, you know, that's a really good basketball team that obviously is going to play, f- you know, um, you know, for a long time, I think, in, in, in the tournament and, and everywhere else. Um, and you're playing against the best player in the league. They got very experienced players, too, around them. I think the guy they got in the portal – Jones is really, really good, and he's a very experienced basketball player to go around, you know, those other players. And, and uh, you know, I hope our guys, I mean, when you play a game like that, we played Nebraska, they're the one team that beat them, and then we played them, you know, here. You know, our guys stay the course, just keep getting better. You know, there's a lot of big block in the middle of our league, you know, and we need to just start playing a little bit better basketball. Keep guys healthy, get two new additions hopefully soon and, and, and see what happens, you know, down the stretch. But these guys are good captains. They stay the course. They're gonna continue to lead us. And uh, you know, keep fighting and thankful for the crowd. Like the crowd keeps coming, they help us and, and very appreciative of that.